So today, guys, I bring you five overlooked blue rare weapons. Basically, weapons people ignore simply because of the rarity. But that shouldn't be the case. Some of these rares are actually better than those are legendaries. How's it going, guys? My name is DPJ, and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out. And subscribe if you want to see more Borderlands. Also, guys, I'm giving away copies of Borderlands every week. To win one for yourself or a friend, simply subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Okay, so there are a few rare weapons in this game, which are actually amazing weapons you should really consider. Today I cover 5 in which I believe people indeed need to take a double look at, so let's get into it. So this is in no particular order by the way, but first up we have a weapon I picked up ages back, it's an SMG I covered a long time ago on my channel, but it still seems no one really picked up on this weapon. I guess it was because I covered this in the early stages of the game being released, but even so the weapon is amazing and it's a must try out in my opinion. So this SMG is called the Extreme Hanging Chad, and well guys, it has an infinite clip. Whereas it being a CLV weapon, you think it will either break or start damaging you. Well guys, it does neither, and it also shreds at the same time. And because, as its description states, it takes 999 bullets to break, you can literally hold down that trigger for about 5 minutes plus before it actually starts overheating. My version at the moment is the one I first got, but it's definitely worth your time going back and getting this thing on a second character, making sure this thing is a level 50 if you picked it up on your first character at a lower level. So it's obtained from a side mission called Swamp Bro, and it's located up on Eden 6 within the Reliance Floodmore Basin area. The side mission sees you following around Chad, watching and helping him along his way doing stunts, and as a reward you get this SMG, so have fun guys. Next up we have a weapon that's a world drop and comes in multiple variants. Now me being a person not ignoring anything, no matter the rarity, this one caught my attention. Not due to its initial stats or anything like that, it was just at the time I needed a fast firing SMG which dealed radiation damage. When I saw this drop I scooped it up and tried it out and let me tell you guys, the weapon holds its own for sure. Now I will state this really was put within this list as a demonstration as to sometimes blues and rares that don't even seem that good on paper actually are when you use them. And this thing not only is radiation but those stuck projectiles explode too causing additional damage. I absolutely love this weapon. Ok so next up we have a blue sniper rifle which is an exclusive drop to Eurelia who is people located upon Eden 6 within the Black Barrel Cellars. This sniper, the Ice Queen with its reference to Frozen is a bit of a beast. Again guys people overlooked this weapon. Now with its 96% cryo efficiency as well as critical hits fire 2 cryo bullets at the nearest enemy, this caught my attention straight away and I believe it is unique to this weapon, I mean I've seen additional perks like the one we see on the one pump jump which with a crit shot fires another shot to a nearby enemy but I've never seen two, especially firing cryo bullets. It also looks amazing and feels great to use, I mean I ain't really a fan of snipers in this game besides the recently nerfed Lyuda. But this one I do enjoy using for sure. So yeah guys, if it seems of interest to you, it's a dedicated drop exclusive to Eurelia up on Eden 6.
Okay, so next up, guys, we have a very unique shotgun, which is tied to a side quest on Eden 6 within the Anvil area. The side mission is called On the Blood Path, which is actually a fun side quest, which I won't ruin for you if you haven't already done it. But at the end of this quest, you have to pick a side. Make sure you pick the side of Ramsden. If not, you are rewarded a shield, which isn't what you want as you can't repeat this mission on that same character. So hit the side of Ramsden at the end. The shield, if you are curious, is the one you see on the screen now. Yes guys, I picked the wrong side, but luckily my power big fawn ran this mission for me and got this blue rare shotgun called the Iron World Finger Biter. And while it's actually amazing, not only does it look incredible, it again is very unique. It does real high damage also. Now when you compare this to the one pump chump, which we all know is a monster, I mean its damage isn't on the same scale because of the one pump chumps plus 1400 additional weapon damage, but you see where I am coming from. It isn't a bad weapon, and without that plus damage on the one pump chump, this would actually be the more powerful shotgun. Something else unique about this weapon is its critical hits ricochet one bullet to the nearest enemy. Thing is, if you shoot the floor, you see it doesn't actually shoot a single shot. It shoots like nine. And with hitting critical hits, it seriously dishes out damage for sure to nearby enemies too. I actually love this weapon and in my opinion, like the rest, this could quite possibly be a legendary and nobody would bat an eyelid. Okay, so the last rare for today's video is a shotgun I already made a video on called the Protuberance. This blue rare shotgun right now is the most powerful weapon in the game, or one of them. It poops all over the flacker due to its recent nerf, and if you compared them before the flacker was nerfed, it was still the more powerful shotgun. Now this was first brought to my attention a few days back by my pal, Smile Before Death, who found this within the slaughter shaft, where it seems to be a common drop there. It also has a bigger brother, which is an epic, which is also super powerful. So yeah guys, this shotgun, one of the most powerful shotguns in the game right now is a world drop. I will also mention this protuberance also comes in different variants too, with different elements. So it's definitely worth your time trying to get this people. It shoots an initial projectile or two initial projectiles, they hit a target and explode into a feather through your bore, which do great additional damage. The weapon is an all round monster and I do 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 recommend you trying to find this. But on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. These are my 5 rare weapons you should not be ignoring. Now if you guys are interested in trading or anything of that matter, join my Discord link within the video description. I have a trading section dedicated to every platform, PC, PS4 and Xbox. So check it out via the link within the video description. But on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. If you have a rare weapon I haven't covered, which is a beast, let me know down below within that comment section or you could hit me up on Twitter or via my Discord, both links within the video description. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.